Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog and we are in Sydney for Oz Comic Con and I'm here a day early because reasons. I'm staying in an apartment this time instead of a hotel because all the hotels were booked because apparently you have to book these things like six months in advance and it is school holidays so that's the reason why most of the hotels were booked up but I'm in Parramatta at the moment I'm relaxing. Once I got here, I checked in and then I had to wander around um, and I had to buy a lock for my luggage because the lock that I had broke at the airport. And so I have a lock now for my luggage and I'm going to relax for a bit because I need, I need a nap. And that I'm going out to dinner with a family friend. So that's going to be good. My apartment suite thing that I have is really, really cool. Like that's a balcony, which is brilliant. Like it's cool. And I love the kitchen. So yeah, the plane trip was okay, not really that exciting, just there, there, but I am so glad that Tamworth only has two gates because Sydney Airport is like big and I don't like it because it's not disabled friendly. But yeah, and then I got on the train, which was my second time ever getting on a train to go around the city. I don't know, I don't it once before, but now there was, this was the time where I've got to go from Airport to Central to Parramatta. It was very fun. It was a nice train ride. So I went to Westfield at Parramatta and had a look around and yeah, so I will check in with you guys later, but I am just so tired. Hi. Just got back from a dinner with a couple of family friends and oh. Like I had a nice chicken schnitzel and then I had like this most dense chocolate mousse and now I'm just on a complete sugar high and I'm just waiting for the low to hit so I can just go straight to bed because I have to get up early and be on time to meet Annie at the train station and I don't want to oversleep so I'm going to sort out my backpack for tomorrow then go to bed because I am just, I'm full, I can't do anything, I can't, I can just sit here and just let everything process because it was such a good meal and it was so nice to see those two again, they're lovely people, I love them both so much, but yeah, so. Good morning guys, it's around 8 o'clock and I am just getting ready for Oz Comic Con. I am so pumped about it and it's just, I'm so excited. This is the whole outfit complete with um, petticoat and I will be wearing sh matching shoes but I have to put elastic bands on my feet so my feet don't get blisters but yeah. <laughs> I love this dress so much, so I'm excited. Huh? It's mostly aimed at uh, teens and uh, younger audiences, and so I'd like to use a style that I think is big eyes and is appealing to girls. The grayscale images, there are somewhere, there are white uh, pieces like the third panel. Uh, so it's just pieces, just blank pieces in the back that works, whereas in colour I filled them in because uh, it actually looks kind of weird. So there's some differences between.
I am back. The convention was great. I wish it wasn't as spread out as it was, just in regards to all the panels and stuff, but it was good. I got a lot of stuff, mainly books, because come on, it's me, and a couple of pieces of artwork. It was fun to see everyone again, and I had a really great time. I'm just so exhausted now. I'm going to change out of my outfit, because I can't stand this. So, yeah. It was fun, though. It was really fun. I got to hang out with a couple of friends, and then got to see a couple of good panels, so I'll talk more later. Hall. So it is nearly nine o'clock now and I've just spent the last hour packing everything in my suitcase save for the stuff that I need in the morning and pre prepping my backpack which you can see in the background because I've got a busy day tomorrow traveling back to Tamworth. The con was awesome first and foremost it was fantastic however before I get into like more detail about what I did. Do you want to say the one gripe that I had is that everything was far too spread out. There is no need for it to be that spread out, especially when you've got a lot of people with wheelchairs or walking sticks who need to get somewhere quicker. If you're gonna have it all spread out, at least have like an airport cart thing where 40 people get on and you transport them from stage one to stage two if it's gonna be that far. Just saying, or, Pick a better venue that's smaller, that's big, but at least it can ease access of everything. That would be my one gripe with Comic-Con, is that both times I've gone, it's been very big, and I'm just not a fan of that. You can be big, but also be user-friendly. That's, that's all I have to say. But you saw clips of me and Annie and... and most of the people who I met. I didn't really vlog this much because, yet again, it was so far, so I was sort of walking one way or the other. So the clips that I do have are very short, but it was fun. I got to go see my two author friends, Alan Baxter, Maria Lewis, and Queenie Chan, so that's, that's three. Three of my author friends and give them fan art and just say hi, ask them how they're doing. I offered them some of my chips in the afternoon because they looked like they were starving. So they were a ton of fun. I always love seeing Maria, Alan and Queenie. Just they're a ton of fun to hang out with. And then Annie and I went perusing around the booths. I picked up some of Queenie Chan's work. I think I picked up the full Kingdom, Fable Kingdom series, plus the three volume shorts, short story collection. And then a little $2 comic about Yuri and Yurio from Yuri and Ice doing a rap battle. So that was awesome. Then I went to the 12 o'clock Grimm panel and that was fun too. I've only ever watched one episode of Grimm, but just hearing them speak and just like they're laughing and telling jokes. It's very entertaining. I took a lot of photos for Annie when she was asking a question for the Grimm people and oh, it was a lovely panel. Then I visited part of Queenie Chan's uh, comics and pinup panel, which I believe she moderated, and that was awesome. And then yet again, there was just a small clip there, but it was nice for the 30 minutes that I stayed there to learn a bit more about styles and drawing and whatever. Then I went to the Madman booth and I finally got the last two volumes of Gangster. I bought the third and fourth volume on my last trip to Sydney and I could almost have the complete set but they didn't have six so I've now got five and seven and I need six before I can just browse through them because they are awesome. I also got volume one of Gangster Cursed so I might be able to read that because I don't think that that's spoiling anything in Gangster at the moment, so I could read that once I finish Volume 5. Um, and then after that, I hung out at Queenie's booth a bit and helped her and just hung out, met a couple of nice people, 
and it was just fun. It was just like, we were like laughing and having fun and just telling jokes. It was so good. Um, and yeah, then Annie, we, me and Annie went out because she had to go meet family and she dropped me off at the, at the light rail and then here we are. I will admit that the chips did not, they weren't good, like they were alright but they weren't fantastic and they made my stomach sick so the food wasn't good, the walking in the lines relatively what you expected these things but I really wish they weren't as far apart as they were but it was a fabulous weekend so I am looking forward to coming back home and relaxing and just taking it slow. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to update you guys because all I'm going to be doing is relaxing, just chilling out. I do have, I do have one of Queenie's books that she did the illustration for it, for Kylie Chan's Small Shen. Uh, as far as I know, this is a prequel to White Tiger, but I am reading it because I like to read things out of order. And yeah, I, I am so excited because I have a copy of FM. Full Metal Alchemist that I was reading, but I was only reading that because I had no more gangster and I just wanted something to read on the plane. So I'm really looking forward to picking this back up. And yeah, so and it's signed as well, but I'm too lazy to show you guys. <laughs> that is it for me. I'm just gonna chill out, relax, make myself a cup of tea, and go to bed because it was exhausting today, but it was so much fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys.